hello and welcome in today's video i will talk about a new feature which microsoft has released on reno 31 version which is automatic ledger settlement process as of now the ledger settlement has been a very tedious work especially on the month end or you know quarter end or half yearly or year end process user need to go to the ledger settlement form and they need to match and mark and then do the settlement however this tedious and old days will be gone this entire process will be done automatically by the system by some rules or matching criteria let's see the description of this new feature which is automatically match ledger account debits and credits based on pre-configured rules one debit transaction will be automatically matched to one credit transactions if the transactions accounting currency amounts are equal so without further delay i will go into general ledger module i will show you how the ledger settlement works in current i mean as of now under general ledger version under periodic task this is the ledger settlement form and here we need to select one by one like amount debit and credit and then we need to select mark trans select mark transactions after marking this then this ledger settlement rocks however and with the new feature it this this manual activity will be gone so how this will work i will show you now so first thing is to enable the feature like i was showing at first the second thing uh, it is not a new thing but in general ledger parameter we need to make sure the ledger ledger accounts are added like i have added two accounts here so based on this ledger setup the ledger settlement uh, form will show all the unmatched transaction unsettled transaction in the form but this is not the new thing and the new thing here is the settlement typical balance say <coughs> this major main account if i select debit or credit whatever i select the ledger settlement will start the automatic settlement will look for the debit first if i select the debit and then credit if i select credit first then the automatic automation will check the credit first and then debit i know this is confusing a bit but i will show you one by one and after this we will configure the automation criteria which is a new feature so this automation is based on the process automation framework which is which was available for credit and collection credit uh, 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 you know activities and also vendor payment proposal automation and now is also available for the ledger settlement as well so what we need to do we need to create the new process automation for the ledger settlement i will click on ledger settlement and click on company and create the series once i click on create series i will give a name ledger automation settlement I can write description and the owner will be who will be creating this and schedule time schedule time i can give maybe now it is 3 15 am in india so maybe i can give 0 3 18 am so after 18 minutes it will work because i have created some transactions so i will show you maybe i can give you 19 and start date end it if i keep it blank then it will never end and then uh, time zone will automatically come as per the user setup and legal entity setup repeats repeats means like in record and recurrence like daily or weekly or monthly i will keep it daily because i need to show you how it works i can also set up the re repeat interval days either the repeat interval repeat daily repeat interval one or every weekday and this alerts i can set up i will click on next but next i need to check the next schedule is 18 19 i will click on next the schedule is done but i need to now create the matching criteria so in matching criteria all the ledger account which are set up in the ledger settlement parameter which i was showing it will come so i will select all the main accounts and also 
match criteria is main account posting layer posting type also we can set up and financial dimension as well so i will click on financial dimension financial dimension means not only ledger but it has to match with financial dimension with the ledger okay, suppose there is a xyz ledger account there are two transactions however those transaction even if the ledger account is same but the financial dimension is different that will not auto match so i will select business account business unit so what i am saying is main account criteria these main accounts with the business unit matching it will work if there is other requirement for other dimension multiple dimension it will also work i will finish this and it is done our automation is done once it is done it will click on it will uh, give the option called enable to tick and company repeats daily when the schedule time and now it will show us all the scheduled you know automation criteria and you see the next tight time is 3:19 am and now it is 3:18 so i will quickly show you in ledger settlement i have already created some transaction with the ledger account david it is minus 9000 and with the same ledger account with same financial dimension it is david 9000 so ideally it should work it should automatically match and it will mark the settlement with uh, similarly for other ledger account also i have created so let's see i will again go to the process automations i will i will show you how it is working so now it is 319 am and now it is in my watch it is 318 am so let's wait for one more minute and then see how it works so by the time it works i will also talk about uh, this is a, just a brand new feature definitely microsoft will bring some enhancement like uh, i i got to know from microsoft team that there will be another criteria matching criteria which is date tolerance if you have worked with the bank statement uh, matching rules there is also a criteria called date tolerance it means you can also give a date tolerance that by this date if the transaction falls and the ledger settle and the matching criteria works then only it will auto match so now it is 319 in my watch i will just click on refresh it is still showing scheduled let's wait for a couple of seconds this site has not started yet yeah as you see now as the time is the 19 is passed it has started executing the status is executing other is scheduled i will keep on clicking on refresh so that it will change the status i will click on refreshing this so that you can see this automation in real time in this demo still it is in executing state we will keep our patience still it is executing yeah yeah see it is now completed i can also show the i can also see the few results see the message ledger settlement automation succeeded i can also click on view log info ledger settlement automation succeeded i will close this page so my expectation is as this is completed so my criteria should work i will go to ledger settlement now and now you see there is a magic no transaction is now in unsettled form i will click on this ledger account select this and i will show you the display transactions nothing is there and if i select this settled one if i click on display transactions now you see all the settled transactions are there so if i check this as you see 21 today is 21 2023 and this is the settlement id which is both same that means it has been settled now with this ledger account and business unit same combination debit 9000 and credit 
Similarly, if I check the other ledger account, the same thing you will be able to see. Debit 9000, credit 9000. And with the ledger account and the same dimension combination. Had it been with same ledger account but with two different dimension with debit 9000, credit 9000, it would not have worked. Okay. So, that's the... I must say this is a very important and very nice functionality which Microsoft has you know introduced in this version I'm sure there will be uh, a lot of enhancement in this area but a lot of organization a lot of client which they are using at they are uh, you know giving a lot of effort a lot of bandwidth is choking by the users this will be nullified and also one more important one more important thing I would like to add here it only works with the same amount. If you say there is a 9000 in one debit transactions and there is 4500 and 4500 as the credit tran transactions, even if, the, even if those transactions are matching with ledger account and dimension, it should not match. It is only, it, it will only work with the same amount and same matching criteria. That the uh, one thing i wanted to show you because this will this question will come to you in your mind when you are going to explore this functionality and practice it yeah so that's the uh, demo was all about i hope you have understood this and i we hope uh, you will be able to sell this to your customer who is using her or or who is going to use in a new implementation project and it will be very much you know easy an automated process for them i hope i'm i'm sure that they will like this process for now thank you for watching keep watching my videos in future as well thanks thanks everyone bye